here today to look at the soil pH of this paddock. Understanding your soil pH is actually really important. It's what dictates what nutrients are available to your plants, whether that's your crop or your pasture. And it also dictates what toxic elements are going to be available for your plants to uptake. If your soil pH is low or acidic, then it can be easily rectified by adding lime. By some quick calculations, you can work out how much lime to apply and when. And over a couple of years, you can start to change that soil pH and raise it up towards seven. Testing your soil pH is actually quite easy. If you just head along to your local garden centre, pick up a soil pH test kit, then you can head to your paddock with a shovel and start testing. What you do need to be aware of though, is when you are in the paddock, you need to know whereabouts you're gonna do the test. You can take out all of the infrastructure. So if you have a road, a watering point or a fence, better to stay away from those spots. Also trees. Trees are gonna impact what's going on in the soil beneath them. So if they aren't the standard in your paddock, it's better to head away and go to where the soil types are gonna be more consistent. What we have here is the top of a slope, the mid slope and the swale. In the swale there, I can see some rushes and they're quite indicative of wet feet. So I know that the soil type there is probably going to be different to what we have here in the mid slope and at the top of the hill. So I'm going to do two different soil tests here, one at the top and one at the bottom. So I'm just down from the top of the hill here into what we start to call the mid slope. Here is a good spot because it's a good example of the overall landscape that I'm trying to capture. So I'm just going to dig a quick hole to get a soil test out that I'll use for the pH. It doesn't have to be too deep. Really in the root zone is what we're looking for. The root zone of your soil is usually the top 10 centimetres. So I'm going to dig that first hole and push it away. Now I'm going to make my clearer cut. And this will be my first test. Your soil pH test kit will come with a colour chart. This colour chart indicates the range that your soil pH sits in. As the soil pH indicator soaks up the colour, it will begin to change. And then you just match that up with your colour chart to decide what the type of pH you have. Here we have a soil pH of around 6 to 6.5. So it's really sitting within the ideal root growth zone. For the most part, it's soil organic carbon is what um, helps buffer your soils between being too acidic or too alkaline. To learn more about how to get soil carbon into your pastures, have a look at some of the other videos we have through the Scratching the Surface Soils Forum.